Welcome back. Today, we're gonna talk about an infinite scaling ability of Zephyr and my approach in using it. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video about using stock on Zaku to indefinitely stay invisible. We're gonna use that strategy on Zephyr today and make our lives easier. So this build is all about ability damage, specifically for her first ability, which is Tailwind. For those who didn't know, this ability has an augment that increases its damage by 100% per enemy hit. This means that with the gazillion enemies we have in Steel Path, a single cast of this weapon can easily give you 20 times damage or more. But wait, that's not even the best part yet. The damage buff can last forever and doesn't have a cap. Honestly, just the fact that the scaling has no cap is already absolutely crazy. I can't even read how much damage multiplier I have on it anymore because the numbers just overlap with the other buffs you have. As long as you don't stand in the ground for more than 2 seconds, you can keep the buff forever. Not even entering nullifier bubbles can cancel your buff. The damage potential of this Warframe is incredibly absurd. In just 10 minutes, I was able to ramp up her damage from 4,000 to 200 million damage per cast. The enemy scaling can even keep up with your scaling anymore. Acolytes, they won't even get the chance to start attacking you. You can kill them with a couple of casts. You can even one-hit some of them. Moving on to the build, all you're really gonna need is high range so your 1 and 2 can hit more enemies and a little bit of strength. I've got Brief Respite in the Aura slot and Rolling Guard for that extra layer of protection. I was honestly ready to deal with violence in the event that she cancels our abilities, but she didn't even have the chance to do that. Target fixation for infinite damage scaling on her 1, all of the range mods which gives us 280% range, Prime Flow to increase our maximum energy pool, and Transient Fortitude to cancel out overextended strength reduction. Primed sure-footed in the Exilus slot because getting a knockdown might actually cancel out your buff. If you don't have that, a good alternative would be Handspring. For our Arcanes, we've got Arcane Energize for energy economy and Molt Augmented for more strength. This gives us up to 60% additional strength after getting max stacks by killing 250 enemies. Moving on to our Kubro, we only really need 4 mods here and the rest are up to you. Mandatory mods are Medi Pet Kit, Fetch, Animal Instinct, and of course, Stock. This mod turns our Warframe and Companion invisible as long as there's an enemy around. This can last indefinitely as long as you don't use your weapons. Speaking of weapons, feel free to use anything that you want, but you won't really be needing them at all. Now that we've got the builds covered, let's talk about how to use the build. It's honestly pretty simple. As soon as the enemy starts to spawn and approaches you, just cast your 2 to group them up, jump once, look down, and press 1. You just keep on repeating the cycle and after a few casts, you're gonna start 1 hitting all enemies. Just bear in mind that you cannot stay in the ground for more than 2 seconds, so you better keep jumping. Your third ability may come in handy if you messed something up and ended up cancelling the invisibility. Fourth ability will be replaced with Master Summons in case our Kubro dies. This ability lets us insta-revive our Kubro at our crosshair with a single use of this ability. For our focus school, you can bring whatever you want. In my case, I was using Oniro to strip their armor in case I needed it, but apparently just spamming one was faster so it wasn't really that useful. Xeneric might be good if you don't have a maxed Arcane Energize or if you're having trouble with energy. If you don't have Master Summon Subshroom, Vazarin will be the best one to take. This gives you 4 instant revives for your Kubro and 100% revive speed. That will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider sharing this to your friends, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my uploads. Have a good day everyone, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!